Hello guys, welcome to JC Engineering and Technical Drawing. Today we'll be drawing a light bulb using our principle of tangency. So if you use the freedom to draw our vertical lines over there, then what we need to do next is that the distance between the first point and then the second point over here is a hundred is a eighty millimeter so we just measure 80 millimeter which we've already done over there so now we have our a cycle here this is a cycle if you can see it's just that the other parts they didn't show it in the sketch so now this is a cycle here so use a uh, 37 millimeter as radius so all what we need to do is we'll just pick 37 millimeter come over to our meter room and we'll measure 37 uh, millimeter now place a compass pin at this point here and then we'll scribe an arc this way over here now you can see for better understanding let me call this point A and I'll call this point point B and you know that from distance point a to distance point b over here is 80 millimeter now the next thing we'll do is that we'll find out how can we get this uh, radius you get it of nine uh, millimeter but we know that the distance between these points the distance between this point over here and then this point is 37 millimeter so all what we need to do from point b we we'll measure we we'll divide 37 by 2 uh, then if you divide the 7 by 2 you get 18.5 we measure 18.5 to the left 18.5 to the right so i'll take my 18.5 over here 18.5 then also i'll take another 18.5 to my right 18.5 and I'll get this now. I've succeeded in getting that stuff, but all you need to know is that 18.5 to your left, 18.5 to your right is a construction. I also are interested in is this point over here. This is the point we're interested in here and here. So, all we need to do is just erase this midpoint here so it will not be thick. I just did that so that I will explain it for you better. Now you see. Now then we we'll place our compass in our because we are having a radius of nine millimeter. So all what we need to do is that we we'll take a meter rule, then we we'll measure nine millimeters radius. This is it. So at this point over here, you strike an arc a little one, then using your compass same radius over here you strike an arc over the same thing here you measure from here to here nine as radius nine millimeter then you place it here like this then you construct Arc. Now, all what we need to do is that we'll join these two points together with the tangential line touching the both sides, which we've done and we've gotten it over here. So the next thing is that our radius touches this point here and this point. You can see. So what we do is that we we'll measure measure uh, 35 millimeter as radius 35 millimeter as radius is 35 uh, 75 millimeter sorry as radius 75 millimeter as radius so we're taking 75 millimeter at this point here we strike an arc we similarly we do that to this sorry 
we've taken our 75 millimeters radius you got that now you observe that the arc touches this point over here so you just come to this point here you can see where i'm putting it now so that we don't make mistake you strap an arc then you also bring it to this point here you scribe your arc now we know that when cycle touches each other externally we add so we know that this is touching this arc here this circumference of the circle here externally so we say 75 plus 9 and sorry 75 touches externally sorry 75 plus uh, 37 which is uh, 112 so we take our rule and we'll measure 112 this is 112 now i've succeeded in measuring my 112 then i'll bring it back to point a i'll cut the arc at this point and then also at this point then if you choose to you can erase a little source to make your work neat now this is it i've gotten to uh gotten these points my points that will give me my uh arc that will touch the circumference of this circle and this and touches this point over there so the arc that touches it is what is 75 millimeter so all what i need to do i'll measure 70, 75 millimeter with using my rule over here 75 minutes i'll place it at this point of the intersection and then join it with my arc comes here similarly what i did to my right i'll do it also to my left so i'll place this over here you can see and I'll increase my you can see now properly you can see it over here now we succeeded in in getting this part of our light bulb which is this part over here so the next thing we'll do is that we'll start from here the width of this box let's say box over here is uh 25 uh, millimeters so you just measure divide 25 by 2 you measure half to the left half to the right 25 divided by 2 is giving us 24 uh 20, eh? 25 divided by 2 give us 12.5 so we measure 12.5 yes 12.5 so we can take our meter rule and then we we'll measure 12.5 to the left 12.5 to the right twelve point five to the left then here will be twenty four twelve point five to the right and this should be here so we're having this point here and this point over here so what you need to do we'll project it upward with a set square just project it upward now we've succeeded in doing that so now we say we know that you see the distance between the height there's a box here the height of it is six millimeter so measure six millimeter upward six millimeter where is it over there so we join uh, from this line to this other line six millimeter so we succeeded in doing that so we erase this part here and then this point over here these are construction lines why this is these two sides are outlined so you join it here you 
or storage right here. So we succeeded in getting that. Now they say the distance between you can see over here is three millimeter. So you just measure three millimeter this way, one, two, three, put the point. So use a C square and you draw a straight line. Now you find out that it says that at this point here we have 21 millimeter so we're going to divide 21 divided by 2 which will give us uh, 10.5 21 divided by 2 give us 10.5 so we'll measure 10.5 to the left 10.5 to the right yes 10.5 to the left 10.5 to the right so all we need to use our set square we join would we'll project the line upward this way and then this way so you can see so there's a, a line joining the this box the edge of this box to this point the edge of this box to this point so we we'll take our rule and then we join that neatly we join that Okay, so we succeeded in getting this path. Make here an outline. We succeeded in getting this path. So now they see the height of this bulb, the top side here, the height from here. See here is 15. You see it at the screen. I didn't indicate it over there. So from here to here is 15. So all what we need to do we'll just measure. 15 millimeter upward here so we indicate with is not set a t square we'll draw a line very neat then we can erase this top over here you can see we succeeded in drawing a light bulb using the principle of tangency is as simple as this you first of all construct your circle you check since they are touching each other externally you add then you strike an arc over here then similarly from this point here you measure 75 millimeters right just since it's touching this point here then you strike you cut the arc over here and here then you take your measurement as we've done at the top and that this how to draw a light bulb using the principle of tangency. Now, the principle of tangency works with the law. You are only trying to play with your words, your brain on how to uh, use to apply the principle to solve certain uh, structural problems. Thank you for watching. Uh, I still remain JC Engineering and Technical Drawing. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. This way, <laughs> a thumbs up. And then you subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and do have a blessed day ahead. Thank you.